Cucumber head. From, from the scariest black people to the scariest Mexican. Today we reveal the story of the beloved show, Spongebob Squarepants. Here we go, let's get right into it. Spongebob is seen as a happy, loving little sponge, but in reality he has suffered many tragedies. Like the death of his mother and the death of his brother. The sad part of this story is that he killed them both. Holding his own jellyfishing net thingy. He killed him with that. Unbelievable, right? While Nick at night tries to air the real story, Kid's Nick says no because it's not good for anyone. Luckily, I know some Nick workers that leak the story. I may get a strike for this, but I want you guys to know the truth before I disappear. Wink, wink. SpongeBob is a notorious hitman who kills people in the city Bikini Bottom, but little did you know he kills himself too. SpongeBob uh, takes his payment from these other, you know, civilians at Bikini Bottom with a little bit of suck. Literally, he tells the people to suck his baloney. And after he gets to suck, guess what he does? He goes kills the person they want. The person wants him to kill. And then he comes back, gets to suck again. And kills him so they don't know he's gay. He is gay. And in the story it says that Patrick is his best friend. But little did he know it is his brother. That's the one he killed. And Mr. Krabs is his mother. Legit, no lie. And Squidward is just his other friend that he does not want to kill because he keeps him in a in a cell in his basement where he tortures and rapes him. No lie. Did you hear that? Is, that, is anybody there? Okay, so, somebody's at my door right now. I gotta go.